YouTube, Jessica here. It's been a while, and today I have something a little bit different um, for my channel than usual. Um, I have just gotten home from one of my um, LFS's, local fish stores, with a gigantic black tiger Oscar. So that's weird, right? Like I keep betta and goldfish. Um, I'm at this point, um, it's late October right now. I have managed to be a closeted monster fish keeper. So I guess until now, um, depending on when this video comes out. Um, so I have a little bit of experience with them. Um, I am growing out a uh, baby monster fish. So this um, adult tiger Oscar that I have just taken home from my LFS, uh, my husband and I have been watching it for a while and um, it has it was a surrendered fish from someone else's home aquarium uh, where it developed um, severe hole in the head disease and it seemed like at the LFS that it was getting better over the course of the last month or two that we've been watching it but just this week um, it seemed to take a turn for the worse and I can't take my husband anywhere. Anyway, so here we are. We're home and we're going to rehab this Tiger Oscar. And hopefully, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a video a series on this or if at the time when you're viewing this, this will be the complete story of Sloan, the uh, Tiger Oscar. So I would love to find a home for her myself or him. Um, or worst case, I did check in with um, another fish store that's local to me here in Sacramento that... Um, tends to specialize more in Oscar fish. They have a bunch in their display aquarium. Um, they really, um, they have it going on with the monster fish. So they have told me that after I get this fish well, um, if I can't hold on to it until I find it a home, that they will um, accept it as a surrender or donation from myself and find a home for it. So um, let's get this fish inside and I'll show you what we're dealing with. Okay, so I have brought Sloan inside the house. He is in the box and I'm going to open it and show you what we're dealing with right now. So I'm going to just go ahead okay, and take Sloan out and float him in. I'm preparing a potassium permanganate dip right now, so I'm gonna float him in that. Wow, this is heavy. I have never had such a big fish. Ugh. All right, that's our only sneak peek, you guys. <laughs> can kind of see through the bag if he would turn on the other side that's the good side the other side is the side with um all the damage from hole in the head Let's see if we can get him to there it is Let's see if it can go around he wants to see what we're doing so there it is I'm preparing a dip here. I'm going to add uh, potassium permanganate and I'm gonna do like a 10 minute dip just to kind of kill off some of that bacteria that is um, is in those wounds um, on the head and uh, right lateral line. So I will do that and then I have a empty uh, 40 gallon that I'm going to slap a lid on and um and rehab him in there or area you know at least attempt to so here goes nothing so you can't really see much here but i am doing a 10 minute potassium permanganate dip on sloan here before putting um, him into the hospital aquarium that i'll be treating him in i am doing this now because i think the uh, bacteria that is in the head wounds needs to be addressed right away and I also am doing this kind of as a, just a preventative for me if I cross contaminate any of my existing aquariums. This is also a anti-parasitic dip. 
it will treat for uh, costia, flukes parasite, um, and among other um, types of parasites. So I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone. I'm addressing, addressing the uh, bacteria in the necrotic skin that is on top of the head wounds. And I'm also just lightly treating for any kind of external parasites. So I uh, have a stopwatch going and I'm going to monitor um, Sloan in this medicated dip um, and, uh, and go from there. Friday morning, November 1st, and I am going to be giving Sloan. She likes shrimp, and she won't eat my um, medicated hex shield for like internal um, parasites. So I have uh, made a hole in the piece of shrimp, and I stuffed the hex shield pellets um, in here. So I'm going to let them soften up a little bit and I'm going to give them. Okay. So I didn't film that just because I don't know if you guys have kept Oscars, but anybody who's ever kept Oscars, you guys know how they are. So, um, she, he wouldn't eat the hex shield pellets when I tried to offer them to him alone. So I knew I was going to have to do something crafty. So, um, anyway, I did put the piece of the first piece of, um, shrimp in there and um, stuffed with the hex shield pellets and I put it in there and of course um, he ignored me um, and then I went around the corner and I watched him and he picked it up and ate it in its entirety he did not spit anything out so I am going to hex shield is like a three day um, two to three times a day medication so I'm going to um, when I get home from work I will go ahead and restuff the shrimp um, and just get all of that internal stuff uh, taken care of or prevented um, so that Sloan can um, can be completely healed from you know external injury as well as internal injury and just really have that full coverage um, healing support so I'm pretty pumped that uh, Sloan has has taken the hex shield pellets and had breakfast um, and I will be back with another
plan to make a video uh, each week that I have Sloan here um, as a foster fish. And I would so appreciate um, the help of social media to possibly place Sloan in a home. Um, like I said in the beginning of this video, um, one of my um, LFSs, my uh, dear friends at the LFS, they um, are happy to take Sloan once he is well and, um, and attempt to rehome him themselves in their store. Um, but I would absolutely love to be able to, to just, you know, bring Sloan from uh, recovering here at home with me and placing Sloan in, um, in his forever home. So if you know anybody anywhere near Sacramento, California, um, please don't hesitate to, well of course they have to want a gigantic uh, black tiger Oscar, um, but don't hesitate to reach out to me on social media. I am um, at a better world and I um, can, be, um, can be reached through direct message on there um, as well as um, please comment here on YouTube. So um, anyway, I certainly never intended to buy a uh, adult Oscar fish from my LFS, certainly not a uh, very ill one, but um, it was just kind of one of those things where uh, my husband had been watching him. Um, he likes monster fish, that's a typical guy fish, right? And if you had asked me, um, all of this time I've been keeping fish for the last four years, what's the fish that you think you'll never keep that you um, like the least? Um, Oscar fish, I, don't, I would have told you Oscar fish. So I have changed my mind. <laughs> I very much like Oscar Fish so um, <laughs> so much that I can't talk. So I am a I'm a fan. Um, I'm actually raising a baby Oscar Fish, an albino tiger Oscar Fish here in this tank next to me. I'm not ready to share yet, but I love Oscar Fish. They're not like any other fish I've kept. Um, I'm actually ashamed that I've never kept one sooner. So my husband has me on that one. I was wrong, baby. Um, so going back to you know the fish store and, and watching that fish from the time it was surrendered a few months ago and, uh, and just watching it deteriorate, it was just kind of one of those things where you know we got, we got there right before close one night and he was significantly worse, the worst we'd seen him. And um, my husband was, you know, under duress over it. So I just kind of said, you know, what do you want me to do? Um, do you want me to? Do you want me to fix it? Do you want me to, to take him? I'll take him. If you, if you want me to buy him, I'll do it. Um, I don't want to see you upset. And of course, I'm upset. Um, but I don't know. Most of you that keep fish, we kind of all know how it is at the fish stores. I mean, there's always probably going to be a dead one. There's going to be a suffering fish. There's going to be sad things. And I just kind of try to dead soul it when I go into fish stores. I go every week and um, I like going. I like seeing the fish. I like seeing the positive. I like seeing the plants um, and the corals. And, you know, I keep salt water. I keep fresh water. Um, I really enjoy going. But in order to continue to go and to stay in the hobby, you kind of just have to put up your best brave face um, when when you see, you know, you encounter sadness, which is every time we go. So I just kind of, I look at the fish, but I look at, at them with blind eyes uh, because I can't save them all. So that's just one of those things that when you go to fish stores, there's gonna be stuff that sucks, um, but you just can't take it all with you. You can't save them all. You can only do what you can do. But in this case, I, I had cleared out some tanks. I had condensed some of my goldfish fry that I reared this spring and summer and um, and I did have a empty 40 breeder and I was more than happy to um, to take Sloan and, um, and and get him well and I'm so glad that I did and I'm so happy to have him here and I look forward to seeing him as a whole um, fish new fish again when he um, when he gets better on that on that right side of his head so anyway, um, that was a ramble, um, but overall, um, thanks for following his story and we'll see you again next week.